All right, welcome back to the channel. Let's take a look at Writer's End. I've been getting a lot of comments on my videos and a lot of them are about Writer's End and how does Writer's End compare to different platforms. So I'm actually gonna just go in and take a look at Writer's End because it's been probably over a year since I've actually looked at Writer's End. We, I wanna go see if the software is still functioning and it was a really big hit when it first came on the platform. It's been on a couple different times. And it's one of those softwares where when they leave, people feel like they missed out. So this is an opportunity to go and pick up Writer's End if it's a tool that you need. I always generally think of Writer's End as a keyword research tool. I know they've added a bunch of different features. They've added in the ability to write AI Writer and so forth. But really, this has always been a keyword research tool first and foremost. And that's how I recommend using it. And then I would use a different AI Writer. Uh, that's just me. Even just the credit system that they used to have and so forth to use their system. I mean, it just wasn't as advanced as a lot of the other writers out there. So, but we'll see like what has changed. I'm just going to go ahead and jump in. This is Writer's End. So this is not a new platform or a new software, but it's about keyword research and, you know, SEO and so forth. Now, one thing I do want to do is just go and look at the reviews real quick and see any that are, you know, newer reviews coming in. So overall customers are all about Writer's End praising its uh, powerful uh, keyword research tool. Just like I said, it's a keyword research tool. Uh, intuitive interface and comprehensive educational content. They do take you step by step from beginners to advanced on how to build your sites. There's an SEO course from an SEO expert built inside of the tool. So I will say that that is really, really cool. And this is exactly what I was saying, you guys. I have not used, I, I mean, I have access to this. I bought like the highest tier, I believe, and I haven't really used it, but th this is exactly what I was saying. So there's still, there's a few hiccups like limitations with AI writing, data extraction to Excel, and just a small bumps along the way. So it's still very, you know, it's coming out at a 4.6 right now, but it's just like I said, it was, and I haven't even done anything with this for, for a year. So that's what the AI summary is telling us. Let's see if we can come over here. So the newest reviews and it's showing, I don't know, member sense. Okay, right there. So this was uh, posted May 31st. So this would have been a week ago. Uh, useful for SEO research and content optimization. So that's the way that this is going to go, right? It's not going to be an AI writer. Let's see. Keyword clustering. And I use this for keyword clustering for sure is another really big uh, reason why I would use this tool. So these are all fresh, you know, reviews coming in, five star reviews. So it's so far, it's looking like it's a good AHRS alternative. So far, it's looking like it's holding up the quality that we know writers and had. And I'm going to come right back over here and just look at uh, Daniel, the, the CEO and founder of it. So the keyword planner, our keyword planner is the heart of SEO. Dive deep into the keyword planners, powerful trio or keyword research, competitive analysis, Content optimization as our simplified domain focus provides a focused direction for comparing and evaluating your domain performance with other competitors regarding domain ranking, search volume com captured, and keyword captured. Domain filter and overview gives you a bird's eye view of the competitor landscape, filter roles, domain authority. I mean, that, I don't know if that's new stuff. It seems like that was already there. I don't know if this is just a, if there's been major updates to the system, you guys can leave comments below if you're a regular user. And if you guys think that it's uh, changed a lot, or is this just an opportunity? They're just coming back to get more customers and to give you guys an opportunity to become customers. So here we go. So like right over here, we've brought some amazing new features this time around. So we have these other three times they've come back. I'm going to click on this link just to see where that takes me. Nothing happens there. Okay, so this is the newest one right over here. Moved by your love and support, we are back with an appealing lifetime deal offer. So this is their newest thing right over here. And that's what they're kind of going over. Um, I'm gonna go over real quick and just look at the roadmap. And bear with me guys, this isn't like a full review because I've already done a full review. You can go on the channel, type in Writer's End and I've made uh, several videos on it. it. Hasn't changed much in the last year. So, you know, those videos will still be very helpful to you. And those are formal reviews. This one is more of like an update. I want to kind of see what's going on on the sales page, see what they're doing on their roadmap. And then we'll go in and take a look at it. Okay. So if you want to stick with me, this will be a fun video. So under consideration, we got all these different things right over here, extract keywords from an exact URL. Oh, okay. So that would be like from a, you, you know, just a, like a web page, because it sounds like you can already do that from a domain, which is, that's usually what you would want to do. 
So we have planned a template for other article, not sure what that is, but that is AI content creator or AI generation related, ad function content creator. This is SEO optimization related. In process, I mean, look at this. You don't wanna see this. Nothing's going on right here. No in process, next update, keyword grouping as per intent. So that has to do with keyword clustering. And then here's all this stuff that has been shipped right over here. So I kind of want to see like if it tells us when. So January 25th, 2024. So they're still working on it, still doing updates and adding new features this year. All right. Real quick, we'll just go check on the pricing. And mind you, I don't know what the pricing was on the last deal. They've come several times. So I can't, you know, get too much into the weeds on how much the price has changed every time they come out with a new offer. Okay. So the single is, I mean, this one's going to be a little bit steeper of a product. Um, usually products don't come in at $79 for their lowest tier and then go up from there. So that's just something you need to be aware of that. This is a little bit more pricey of a software, but remember this is also an Ahrefs alternative and a very heavy um, SEO keyword research tool. And so you need to bear that in mind as well, that you're getting a lifetime deal and this software so far has stood the test of time for the last three years. It seems like it's a healthy, well-run company. So I believe that you're getting a good deal and you're investing in a software that's going going to be around for a long time. But that's just my opinion, right? Anything can happen. So we have single at $79. You get 50 keyword lookups per day. I mean, who needs more than that in one day, especially if you're just running a few sites and so forth. But where you're going to run into trouble is as you go down further, 50 articles per month, 50 topics lookups per month, 5,000 AI writing words per month. So this is where like, if you want to use it as an AI writer, I like that they're giving us AI writer credits. They didn't used to do that. Again, going back to the main theme, this is a keyword research and SEO research tool. It is not a AI writing tool as much as they want it to be. It's not, in my opinion. You're still only going to get 30,000 words per month, with his, which is just nothing. There's so many other tools out there that, that you'll be able to get you know, 100,000, 200,000 or more million words per month, right? 20 keyword lists. So if you're as you're managing more projects and things like that, you're going to want to have more keyword lists. So those are the kind of things that you want to look for. Now, these 70 articles per month, I think that that's the, the SEO optimi optimizer, kind of like your surfer or your phrase or your neuron writer. And I'm not sure what the 3,000 word limit per check, if you're checking your content, I'm not really sure what that one is, guys. 50 articles per month, this is going to be like your SEO op optimization checker, kind of like neuron writer, and then your keyword lookups. I think that this is one of those tools that you definitely can do well with single double on this one. So that's the pricing. I'm going to go log in. Actually, before I go log in, um, I like to do this just to go and look and see like what the traffic tools are saying about this. So we've got writersn.net there, and you can see that they actually have grown. So they've survived the Google algorithm updates over the last several years, and they are showing their highest amount of traffic and growth. So that also would just tell you that, you know, they're probably doing pretty well as a company. I like to see that if they were just completely, I mean, this tells the story, right? If they were completely tanked with no traffic and the only traffic they're getting is from AppSumo and that's why they came back to AppSumo, then that would be a little bit of a red flag possibly. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Um, right here, you can see they're getting 7,000 right here on uh, Ahrefs, and it has grown up all the way to 7,000. Now, if we go and look at this in Samira Web, it's saying they get like 60,000 visitors per month. So it's going to be somewhere around in there, right? Ahrefs is going to be a lot more accurate, I believe. And then let's see right over here. So let's go in and log in real quick. So I'm going to go boom over here and just log in. So welcome back to Writer's End. This is my first time logging in in a very long time, guys. Just looking at it in general. I mean, just look. Well, three months ago, I did do something. That does not sound right. There's no way I logged in three months ago. This site has been down for a year, so I have no idea why it's saying stuff is updated if it's constantly updating these. But all this stuff right here, the, I definitely didn't log into this three months ago. So that part right there is a little strange. I feel like I haven't been logged into this in a year, but not a big deal. So it looks pretty similar uh, to, you know, it looks very writer zen feel. Now you can go over here, SEO fundamentals and best practices. I just want to click on this one time just to show you that if you do want to learn SEO from an SEO expert, then you can come over here and let's see right over here. This is, I want to just see. So you do get access to this. So definition of SEO, they have it all nice and organized for you right here. And it looks like they do have an SEO coach. So they've actually had somebody else kind of redo the course right over here. And it looks like, let me just see if I can go 
and yeah, it will log in. And this last that is super loud. Sorry for you for that, guys. I had my volume up really loud. It looks like it's nice and organized. Trying to figure out what platform this is on right there. So they used to have it all built into here, into the tool, and now it looks like they've even made it even easier. So pretty cool. So here's all your basic tools. You come up to the dashboard. You got your dashboard. You got your topic discovery, keyword explorer, keyword planner, content creator and plagiarism checker. I'm going to go and just go do some, let's uh, check out the topic discovery. Let's do something different that, that I kind of found on Pinterest actually. Aim. Okay, so we're just going to do that and push save and we'll just see what ends up happening. We're also going to do a keyword explorer on this. So I'm going to copy that keyword because we're going to also go into the keyword explorer section here in a minute. So it's collecting data. We'll be right back in a minute. All right, so this is a topic discovery, right? So like if you're going to build a site that has anything to do with ancient technology, then it's going to give you, you know, your main topic and ideas. And each one of these science, technology, ancient times, advanced technology, each one of these could be a site in itself or a cluster, right? So maybe your website is ancient technology. And then each one of these could be a cluster that you go into. So you have to decide how you're going to use the tool, but it does split these out into different clusters with long tail type keywords in here. Now we can go and click on the show ideas right here. It's gonna open up uh, headlines to consider where we could go and create content on that. Google suggested uh, insights. So you can see this is a very well laid out, high quality keyword research tool. You get all these different things to build all of that topical authority on the ancient technology. I mean, every one of these has ancient technology. So if you go and create all this content, whether it's a YouTube channel or a website, all of this, you're going to start becoming an authority on ancient technology, the keyword, right? Then you can go and just look at questions you want to answer and so forth. Any comparisons, ancient technology versus modern technology. You can do that with any of these topics. And also you can go over here to the learning hub. If you need to learn how to use a tool, you have full tutorials, uh, sample case uh, right there. You can go right over here to full tutorials. It'll open up in a new window and then we can go over here and then they have this in the academy, but this is the user guide with how to do everything. So they, it's all nicely laid out, which is really nice because they did have all that that was built in to the tool and it was nice, but at the same time you could say that it was pretty bulky and clustered with just information overload, right? There was always a training that would show up and you were trying to use the tool and so forth, especially for people that are already versed at using the tool and they don't need all that, then you want that to kind of be separate. So I like that they put that on a different area of the website, right? Because right here you're using app.writersend and then it just moves you over to writersend right there on their main domain. So pretty cool stuff, get clear explanations for every step. So textbook, so we can turn that off. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. But if you need help along the way, you just turn that on and it gives you tips along the way every time you use the software. So you can actually turn that off. I like that again as well. So you could go and you could get all these different suggestions and ideas. We can keep coming down. Look at all these clusters. It does all that research for you. Super, super cool stuff. I'm going to go ahead and hide those and it just comes back and you can do the same thing. Science technology, right? You can look at the ideas. It's going to go over here and start looking at science technology and so forth. You could probably stay in just this tool right here and start creating all this content and you could find some success on your site. Now we're going to go and you also can dial these in. So 76 topics were discovered. You can go with a closely, medium, widely, and then order of relevance search volume. So if you want just to look at the highest volume searches, you know, museum, uh, so definitely, you know, you probably would not be going to oh, actually Museum of Ancient Greek Technology. Maybe you have a section on your ancient technology website that's about museums and you have a lot of search volume right there. This puts it into perspectives of what is, you know, the highest mm -hmm. search for topics within this niche. And then I'm going to go up here to topic discovery and now we're going to go to keyword research. Now let's take that same keyword again and throw that in right there. Ancient technology We'll go US. You have domain. You can also get keywords from domain and you can go with a wildcard. Discover thousands of ideas related to your search term with wildcard search. But I'm going to go with just the keyword right there and we'll just keep it where we're at and push search. So it's going to give you some SERP overviews of what's ranking Wikipedia. And we have a couple. We have Britannica, which is an online encyclopedia. Then you have 
another website right over here about history. And then you have a YouTube video. You have a couple of YouTube videos in the top 10. So this would maybe be one of those things where you'd want to make a video as well. But what I like to see is that there's no Reddit posts uh, going on right over here. So you might have a chance to, you know, rank right over here. And let's go and see. You can just click on those and it'll open up the site. I wanted to see if you could get some SEO stats about these top ranking keywords right there. I believe they have that in, but I just got to figure out how to use that part. So you have your search volume of that uh, keyword right there. Then you have your keyword ideas, um, 1,000. Total search volume, 46,000 with all those keywords. So this would be a mini niche, but you could build a, a quick site on this. Then we can come down here and you can see all the trends right here. Then you can go over here and get your price per click, word count, and cost per click right over here. And then you have all these filters right over here. You can cluster all these and put them into a relation where you can, you know, like maybe five or 10 keywords that you could include into one blog post if that's your strategy. SEO is uh, kind of up in the air right now on what is the quote unquote right way to go about it. So you have to just know what you're doing. And obviously if you have sites that you're using a specific technique and it is working, then maybe you wanna stick with that. So it's pulling up a Google Trends right in here. So you can see that you can stay inside of the tool and get all the information you need. It looks like Google Trends is not loading right there. And then we'll come down here. And what I wanted to do was do a golden filter right here. So click here to access two filtering methods for finding keywords with high ranking potential. So I'm gonna go, set, go like that, I'm gonna say that. And let's just do all keywords and it's going to take a thousand keyword credits and I have a hundred thousand right there. So I've been a lifetime member for over a year and you know, it still looks like I'm getting all the credits that I paid for and everything. So that's great. I mean, so far overall guys, I mean, this is a solid, solid tool. I don't really see other than that, you know, they did restructure and moved over all the training and tutorials onto the website over here, which is definitely nice. It's kind of more clutter free. That was one of my main complaints before was that there was too much going on, but the tool has always done a really well, a good job at keyword research and keyword clustering and all that kind of stuff. So overall, I don't see a whole lot of changes to the tool. It, it shows that it's still functioning the way it's supposed to. And now we have our golden score right over here. I'm gonna push the learn more button because I forgot what it needs to be. The oh, ranking my. by probability field. Okay, so I had to quickly update myself on what the golden score is. So the lower the number, the better. So if we go over here, we can actually click on this and we will be able to either go by, they recommend using the by ranking probability and the lower you turn this dial down to the closer the number is to one. So the lower the number, the score, the better golden score it is. And the higher ranking chance you have of ranking for that it means that there's less. And they part of their algorithm for keyword research and difficulty level is based on all in title. Of all in title or KGR method and all that is something that you kind of gravitate to with keyword research and so forth, then this tool is definitely for you because it does a huge impact of what they call golden score is based on the all in title processes and bandwidth that is actually being used with this tool in order to get all this, all these hundreds of thousands of keywords or millions of keywords with all in title. And so if you have a, an established site already, you're already getting 10, 20, 30,000 visitors per month. That means that you have some authority. You could move over to the potential value and you could change the dial here. And obviously the higher you go, these are keywords that are gonna have a lot more search volume. You may not rank right away for them, but they are gonna be worth your time and so forth, but you might have to do some SEO, some backlinks, all that kind of good stuff. So most of us are talking about we don't have uh, very much traffic or we're starting a new sites. So we probably want to stay with the uh, ranking by probability. And you can move this dial right over here. I'm just going to leave it at the standard at the 20. And you can see when we move this, the dial for search volume and keywords changes. So since the keywords are, we have almost a thousand keywords. And if I move the dial and it doesn't change much, it just changes to 700. I think I'm interested in that. So I'm gonna go ahead and push apply right there. 13,000 search volume. Well, I guess there is 37,000. So let's right here, I think the 10 is gonna be the good mark. So let's push apply. So you can see the golden score right over here is gonna all be less than 10. One other thing is, is that you have all this data right here. I wish that we could kind of like get rid of this part right here and just kind of automatically 
you know, that trend never came up actually. But once we're down here to the keyword part right here, uh, I like to scroll with my mouse wheel. And if you accidentally, you know, scroll right here with the mouse wheel, then it moves this like that. And it, it can be kind of a little bit of a UI annoyance, in my opinion. You can come down here and also look at 200 words at a time, keywords at a time. You could also sort this by trending and so forth. So we already know that these are all, and you can see the all in title right over here as well, and the search volume. So if you wanted to, you could just basically sort this by search volume and just go down the list. I mean, ancient TE, we, we don't really know what that is. So, you know, you would just want to keep going through here and you could have a nice list right here. Now what you would want to possibly do, the way that I would use the tool, is I would now cluster this, right? So we would cluster and cluster all. And then this is where you have this level right over here. You can change this to highly relevant, mostly relevant. Looks like they only have two dials. I'm going to go ahead and just keep it on the standard right there. And this project is going to be ancient technology. I'm going to say activate. So now it's going to go out there and it's going to cluster our keywords for us. And this is essentially how you could go out and use this tool to create your uh, content outline for the keywords that you're going to use for your site. We'll be back in a minute and I'll show you what the content cluster looks like. All right, so this is what it looks like after you do the clustering. This part of the interface does look different. They have some different filters right over here as well. You have your micro intense service product or selection or different things. And then they have this new thing over here, brand. So like brand based, if there's a heavy brand right over here, if the keyword has a brand in it, then maybe you want to, you know, not go for that brand keyword right over there. So then you could go back over here. And that means that all of these are going to have that brand in it. And just for example, this one has seven keywords. So then you would want to go and write an article, old technology versus new, some type of article post like that. And then you would want to put all of these keywords inside of that. So this is a, a way that you can do that. You can uh, click this button over here, create article. I'm not going to go do that. I just really wanted to show you guys a, a keyword research overview. I mean, we're already getting into a long video here, so I'd have to create more videos in order to go over this whole thing. You can't go over an entire tool like this very quickly, but this is mostly a keyword research tool in my opinion, but you can also suggest a content brief. So let's just do that. So let's go for this right here. I'm just going to highlight that and I'm going to suggest a content brief and see what it can do for us right there. You can also export this, this whole thing, you can export it and you can work out of an Excel sheet if you wanted to. So it looks like we have content angle right here. This article will compare old technology with new technology, seed keyword, highest volume keyword. So let's see, that's what it wants us to do. The highest volume keyword. So it's going to go with one of these right here. I guess it's going to go with old technology versus new. I probably would title the article old technology versus new technology. You can choose the tone, the perspective, comparison, and then right there, suggest content brief one cluster. I'm going to go ahead and click it. I believe click it, click it one more time, replace content brief, I'm trying to see where the content brief actually is. So this is the content brief, but you, we're not getting like a content outline. So this is just going to set up what we're trying to write about. It's not giving us an article outline. Let's go ahead and click the create article button real quick. I'm just going to say, See, like right over here for content brief, I'm not seeing that you can actually, you know, push the create button. It says create new. I'm not seeing where it's allowing me to create a new project. So I don't see a way to type in my new project right here. I'm going to go ahead and just select this water fasting for now. And I'm going to say create. So a new article. Let's see what happens. Open article. And I may as well show you what it looks like. Okay, I invite your writers to collaborate in each article or add writers and article settings. And let's just see what we've got here. So it's going to give us, we can change this up right here as well. We'll go ahead and go like that. This is where you're going to get how many headings and paragraphs and images you have. Start building the outline. So right now it's just done a research, word count, and so forth of what we're going with. This is kind of like your neuron writer type tool right over here. And once you get everything set up, then you're basically going to push this blue button right over here. So it, to include, here's all those seven keywords from the cluster right here. We've got all those. And then we're going to go ahead and save and begin writing. So you have all write it myself using AI to write the entire article based on. So or write all for me. 
missing setup. So setup title and description right here. And so we have our title up here. I'm going to say, I'm going to click. We have our title generator, embracing the future, advantages of new technology over old systems, technology old versus new, the battle generations, old technology versus new. Uh, I don't really like any of these, but let's just go with one for now. We'll go with the description real quick. It's going to create the description. So I'm not really impressed with like the title options. And let's just go with this one. But then it has blog description in English. So you would have to come over here and remove this. Now we push save and now we should use AI to generate the outline. I hope you guys are seeing that, that this is just not very intuitive compared to other AI writers. That's why I don't use this tool. I don't think it's a high, high quality either. That's just my opinion. I wouldn't use this for my writing, just to be honest, but it's a very good keyword research tool. Save and set up keywords. Go ahead and click that and save and begin writing. Now, hopefully that works right all for me. And let's go see what it says it's thinking and it should have all of its information and we'll see what it does for us. Okay, so that took all of 10 seconds. So that's also a little bit of a, a red flag in my opinion. This blog explores the ongoing battle. It's just, that's boring. It's not engaging in any way. Reading After reading that, I don't want to read this. Introduction to Clash of Generations in today's fast-paced world. Like this right here, that screams AI. In my opinion, they're probably using 3.5. ChatGPT 3.5. There's no bulleted list. There's no tables. There's no... Im images. So if you compare this to Agility Writer or Gala or SEOWriting.ai, it doesn't even come close to comparing. And so this is why I wouldn't use this as an AI writer. Hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from with that. This is definitely a great keyword research tool. So don't get me wrong, buy it for the keyword research tool and capability, but I wouldn't really use this as an AI writer in my opinion. Hopefully that is just a nice update. Seems like the tool is, is still very solid for what it's really good at, which is keyword research. You can pick it up as um, tier one at 79 bucks and it goes up from there. This is Writer's End that it's back on an AppSumo. You might want to pick it up while you can, while it's available right now for a lifetime deal. Thanks for tuning in. Link will be below. See you next time.